Oh, hey, everyone. Oh, how y'all doing out there? Oh, pretty well. I'm very excited to be here at Just for Laughs. I spend a lot of time on YouTube, love it. And I recently stumbled upon a YouTube network for gay bears. Like the big burly guys in the gay community. Very strange, I was on YouTube and I was typing in big guy with beard talking straight to camera because I wanted to make a comedy video where I would overdub the voice and the beard helps obscure, it's not important why I wanted this, all right? <laughs> not the point. But I typed this in expecting zero results and it returned dozens of results. And I was like, what have we here? <laughs> and I perceive the internet as an incredibly public place occupied by all types of people at all times. So it's always very strange when you pass through an Alice in Wonderland style door into a little room of the internet populated by only one type of person and you just look around like, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Sorry about that, fellas. Typed in an overly specific search query. Carry on. <laughs> I clicked on the first video and it was a big guy sitting topless in a computer chair rotating side to side ever so slightly and murmuring into the camera for five full minutes. And I was like, two things. First of all, this is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> How is that possible? And secondly, what is this guy doing? Doesn't he know how YouTube works? The teen commenters are gonna eat him alive. So I scrolled down expecting every comment to be like, what is this gay nonsense? But instead, every comment was like, mmm, looking good, sexy. Ooh, I wish I was that chair. Mmm, I'd tap that. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> what happened to the YouTube I know and love where people put themselves out there earnestly and then teen goblins call them gay? <laughs> Apparently on YouTube, if you do something so flagrantly gay, the teen commenters are just like, ah, ah, ah. Tap that! Oh, what's happening to me? And the reason I specified off the top that bears are the burly guys in the gay community is because I was telling this story to a friend and I said, I found a YouTube network for gay bears. And he went, huh. And then I was like, you know, the burly guys in the gay community. And he went, oh. What? I need more incredulous friends. Even if you thought I had found a YouTube network for homosexual grizzly bears, <laughs> your first reaction should have been, wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Not, <gasps> tell me everything, <laughs> weirdo. I love pranks, I just love them. And I can't wait to be a father so that I can prank my kids. Oh, the best. Drop my son off at school one day, give him my jacket, say, it's cold out today, son, stay warm. He'll say, won't you need it, dad? And I'll say, not where I'm going. And then turn and walk out of his life forever. <laughs> as a prank! As a prank! Just as a fun prank. Right? No? The best prank I ever came up with was based on a head tattoo belonged to a wrestler named Bam Bam Bigelow. He was a big guy who had a bald head, but then flames tattooed where the hair had once been. Oh, perfect. The weird thing was that the flames followed a receding hairline. What's going on here, Bam Bam? It's like he thought to himself, oh man, I really want flame hair. But at my age, no one's gonna believe I could grow a full head of flame hair. Ah. Think, bam, bam, think. Oh, fucking widow's peak. Yeah! <laughs> that, that was his whole MO. He had flame hair, his uniform was a flaming onesie, and then my friend told me that he died in a fire. Oh no! And I was like, are you sure? He said, I think so. Looked it up online, drug overdose. But for a second, <laughs> it was so close. But if I was to get a head tattoo as a prank, here's how I'd do it. Shave my head bald, and get property of Area 51 tattooed on the back in military font. And then let my hair grow back in and just live my life. 
you know? And after I've lived a good many years, collected some memories, and I'm ready to cash it all in, I'd go find a barber whose life I wanted to ruin. <laughs> and I'd say, could you shave my head, please? And he'd say, oh, for sure, I'm a barber, yeah. And as I felt his razor passing over the appropriate patch and slowing so that he could read what was before him, I'd turn and say, something the matter, barber. <laughs> and then before he has time to respond, grab his jar full of blue scissor liquid and drink it right there, and then just die on the floor. <laughs> Death. And force him to choose what he's going to do with the body. Does he call the cops, or have I made him afraid of the government so he just buries me out back and tells no one? And that is how I would ruin a barber's life with my dying breath. And ideally, that barber would be my son. <laughs> ideally, as a prank. All right, thanks very much, everyone. <laughs>